Hey folks, it's time to do some elite stuff. And today we're gonna go out and check out Sol and all the planets therein. Let's go! So, you know, there's no place like Sol. And off we go. That's where we're gonna go. I'm not even sure if I've got it. I should have it. Not. System. the reason I've got a ship out there. There we go. See, it's not too far away from our, what we call our home. You know, our vacation spot, as it were. Yeah, two jumps. Okay, let's go. We'll see if we can land somewhere with a view of the planets. I'm kind of guessing any number of the moons of Jupiter would work. To get a good view of Jupiter and a good view of Saturn. So it's basically a photo tour that I'm going to do. I mean, obviously, we can't land on Mercury. But we can certainly give it a go. Where am I backing up? Let's go. So the inner Rocco planets, I mean I know we can't land on the moon, but we'll check out the moon. Or Luna. We'll check out Luna. We're just going to go and have a look. Have a little fly around the old solar system. I've not been there since the update, so I'm kind of hoping that it's a lot prettier than it was. But we'll soon see. And we'll see if we can see my house. See my house from here. Now I'm thinking that, you know, for a lot of people, salt the soul system is gonna be, you know, something they can recognize, you know. Here we go. Soul. I mean, the, the amount of bodies is ridiculous. It's like 40 bodies. I think we should go to Notable Presidents. That's quite close. Uh, okay, there's a number of beacons around Sol. Here's our, our lovely star. sun and it really is the sun because you know I like it it's it's a single word the sun it's quite cool but there's a number of beacons and stuff that we can have a look at and have a listen to I've never been to all of these I'll be honest I've been playing this game for two years and I've never been to all the beacons is that federals Feds. The Feds control the Sol system. And you do need a permit to visit, visit the Sol system. So you have to do Federation missions to get permission to come here. Which is fine, because you know most Federation missions are quite reasonable. I mean you've got to do it on the way to get a ball there anyway, so might as well just get it done. Uh, 
first beacon. I have no idea what this is about, to be honest. There's tourist beacon. So, got some belugas and orcas and stuff here. Spot 0201, Notable Presidents of the Federation. The complete list of presidents is too numerous to mention here, so only those who have made a name for themselves in integrated affairs are listed. Sadiq Kessler, Federal President. Isaac Gellin, Federal President. Disgraced. Olaf Smith. Jeremy Tan. Verity Campbell. Campbell. Uh, Ulrich Vale. Grant Keller, Tyrell Biggs. That was literally just a list of presidents. Up until Zachary Hudson. We well, all know who that guy is. Okay, so um, that's that one. Over control. Alright, let's go and check out Mercury. Mercury. Can we land at Mercury? Surely not. I don't think we can. Okay, so this is the innermost rocky planet. This is probably going to take a while, I'll be honest. Because there's plenty of uh, bodies in this system, over 40. Because there's actually a hell of a lot more. Jupiter's got a ridiculous amount of moves, so is Saturn. I mean, they're kind of not moons, more like toys, some of them. But we're going to go and visit around and check them out. Sure, that, that is not landable. So, okay, if there's no any places. <gasps> you can land on. S no, you can land on Mercury. I did not think that was a thing. I mean, you can't land on Earth, which is really annoying. Venus has got a Burnell station. Hmm. Okay. Oh. I mean, it needs to get round the sun. So I need to get again. I did not know that that was landable. That's quite mad. Uh, which one can we land at? Oh, there's a regular markers down there. That's usually just cargo. This place out. Uh, or Ernick. Ernick City. Planetary Port. That'll do. We're going to go and land on Mercury. How cool is that? Oh, we need to stop that. Okay. Oh, we should have stopped it anyway. Hoping to be in, in view of the sun. Actually, let's go out a bit so we can come back round the sun side. Oh, cute! Thank you for the raid, my dude. How was um, Stream Raiders? Was it Stream Raiders or Raid Shadow Legends? Okay. Okay, what you see before you is Mercury. Let's get this is number one in our little little tour. And it is actually landable, which is quite mad. Well, I did want to go sunside. So you guys could see it. Walt Stepford. Let's go and land on Mercury. This is cool. PGA Tour. Oh, okay. It says that when you're streaming, it comes up with Stream Raiders. But I've not played. Well, I don't think I've ever played a golf game, really. Let's go and check out the surface. How cool is that? 
Ah, okay. Is that because it has more audience than PGA, or...? Oh, you play both. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of aware. What's the gravity on Mercury? Can't be quite low, right? That's probably why we're allowed to land. It seems to be going very slow. Hey, Damien. How you doing? We're doing a tour of the um, good old Sol. Yeah, cool. Is that on the other side? Yeah. Oh, it's a crushed ship. Oh, should we check out that crushed ship? The regular markers are just going to be cargo. They just seem to be dead. You just pick loads of missions. <laughs> The yeah. Uh, yeah, the, the shout outs work if anyone does them, really. <laughs> 16? Holy crap, dude. Why am I going so slow? Why is this hostile? Okay, no worries, man. How long was your stream, anyway? I thought it was ridiculous. Is it ridiculous, man? As usual. <laughs> anyway, no, you go and you go and do adulting, mate. Off you go. Ten and a half hours. I trust you had breaks. <laughs> I was expecting Mercury to be more brown. I don't know why. We're going to check out this crash ship. Excessively slow. So let's go up a bit. Perfect. Right, let's go down. Let's go and check out Mercury. The surface of Mercury! Is Mercury. Mercury tidally locked? I don't think it is. He's a bit rough off the tee. <laughs> well, the um, I mean, I've seen his short game on Penga. I have seen, I have watched him play BJ golf before now, and he's pretty bloody good, I'll be honest. Some of those, some of those shots he takes are ridiculous. Okay, the surface of this planet will be ridiculously hot. I'm just saying. Because obviously it's right next door to the sun. Because the sun is literally behind me. And I, it's the sun. Stop. Our sun. This is taking quite a while though. It's aiming too shallow. Should have come, I'm coming in like this. Yeah, I'm coming in like this, and I should have come in like this. Because like this, it's faster. Yeah, it's pretty beaten up, isn't it? But it does undergo ridiculous amounts of heat. I'm kind of surprised that we're allowed... Yeah, I'm kind of surprised that we're allowed to land on this, because it is... Ridiculously hot. Right, okay, we can't land on Venus because that's uh, Earth. Earth gravity. Uh, okay, so it's 0.36 g. Just wibble it a bit. Then we can come in at a bit, a bit of a steeper angle. <laughs> hey mate. <laughs> so I thought it'd take my girlfriend for a trip in my small trading ship. Paula, now she walked on board herself. <laughs> Lee joke, I love it. <laughs> Thank you for the biddies, dude. <laughs> Lee dangerous. Paula, no. It's 
swords on herself. We was thinking about the solar system yesterday and I thought, you know what, I've not been there. So I don't know what's changed since Odyssey. And this is obviously a change because you can actually land here. Because it's small enough, I suppose. No, we'll land in front of it, and then that way we can get the, uh... Well, I've not been there. I've not been here since, um, the Odyssey update. Yes, I know I'm in it. <laughs> Irony. <laughs> but I've not been to Mercury. I've not actually stood on the face of Mercury. Oh, you're shitting me, really? There are people down there? No, they're not. Surely not. God, I thought that was an anaconda, but it's not. Oh my god, it is an anaconda! Holy shit! That's the first time I've ever seen an anaconda crashed. Let's go. A trespass zone? What? Is there anybody there? Is there skimmers there? See if we can get skimmers to pop. Am I going to get in trouble? I'm not sure if I want to go here if I'm going get, to get in trouble. I mean, that's the. Yep, yeah, I'm going to get in trouble. Oh no! It's, a, it's only a fine, it's fine. It's only a fine. Oh, blimey. That's a bit unfortunate. Oh, oh it's going over. Look at that. Oh my god, I'm freaking wanted. <laughs> um, which one of these has a thing, do you think? Do any of these have into, uh, in, um, um, thingy? Doobry. Um, fuck, what's it called? Am I going to have to go to the prison? That's not going to work out well. Nobody told me it was off, off limits. God damn it. Right, let's go and see if there's a... Uh, What's it called? Not international. Interstellar factors, that's the whole thing. So I can clear my so I can pay my fine. I didn't think that was a thing. Shit, unwanted. It's not good. Okay, let's get to Daedalus and see if we've got fine to play then. Where's Venus? Oh, this I've got a capital ship that we can go and have a look at. I mean, if I don't dock, then it really doesn't matter. Well, let's go to Venus. Screw it. Let's go check out Venus. She's flying around. Must be on the other, other side. Okay, we're off to Venus. Mercury was quite nice. But we're going off to Venus now. We are actually wanted, so there's a good chance I'm going to get pulled. <gasps> Moon. Moon. Let's get over there and just orbit. This is one, the one aspect of the game that I don't particularly like, is when you go into a suite, it'll actually get rid of the super cruise assist, which is really annoying. 
because um, I'd quite like to be able to go around the ship while it's doing that. Polish. There is a difference. Polish means something completely different. Uh, what a, po a polished Polish? A polished Polish polisher. They're all very different things. <laughs> English. English is hard. Um, Policia. <laughs> Polish, Polish, Policia. <laughs> I'm Polish, Polish. I'm Polish, Polish. It's like punk. I am, I, I've looked at it. It actually looks quite intriguing. But I'm not paying what they want for it. I'm not saying I'm cheap, but I'm cheap. It's going to take us a while. Ooh. Yeah, I've actually mapped this one, so that's why. Okay, we're looking at, we were talking about Venus yesterday. Essentially, its entire atmosphere is carbon dioxide. And it's ridiculously high pressure. So let's take a photo of that little sucker. It's actually roughly the same size as Earth, which is quite mad. But it's all gas. Oh, let's get rid of that actually. So we can get some nice clean photos. Okay, we all know the next one. The next one is good old. Or Terra, as I know to call it. I'd much rather be called Terran than human. Much rather be called Terran. Hence, Terra Hawks. Just saying. I'd much rather it be called Terra. Because I think, you know, people think aliens would think twice about invading us if it was called Terra. <laughs> well, they, they actually call their, their planet. Yeah, we don't live on Humana, do we? We live on Terra. It's always made me cringe about, um, about Star Trek being mainly Star Trek, because in Stargate they said we were Tauri. So it's almost Terra. So, <laughs> well, strictly speaking, Terra is what two thirds uh, water. I mean, we could call it Aqua. So we we could be called Aqua. Yeah, you know, like Betazoid or Klingon. You know that they, they're called Klingon because they live on the, they live on Klingon. Although Klingon's kind of different actually because it's not it's Cronus, isn't it? The name of their planet is Cronus. It's not Klingon. 
two thirds of the surface in terms of like, yeah. Um, but for the most part, Earth is two thirds water. Water. Right, uh, where is the sun? Is the sun directly behind me? I want the sun directly behind me. It's not bad. The cradle of humanity. Alright, let's see what time it is. There are so many things around Earth. It's ridiculous. And see what see what time of day it is on good old Earth. Look at that gorgeous blue ball. Oh, it's hot. Well, Colonel Wolf, we're merely surveying the worlds we need to conquer. Look, there's Earth. Looks like it's daylight in... Hang on a minute. That's upside down. Is it upside down? Yeah, there you go. Australia. Australia! Yes, indeed. Hopefully. I mean, honestly, the best thing for the Earth would be for humanity to leave it alone. Where's the sun? Is that the ecliptic? Okay, so it's daytime in Australia and Japan, and so that's Australia and Indonesia. Let's go around. Do a nice little tour. See if I can see my house. I think it might be dark. Okay, there we got India. I'm literally flying around with looking out the side window. It's disgraceful. But you can actually see the atmosphere now. You never... I don't think you could actually see that so much. Okay, we're coming up on the Middle East. A bit of storm over there. Let's see if I can see my house. That's the Mediterranean. There's a bit of a storm over your way there, Deviant. Yes, indeed. Well, I mean, the Federation, it pretty much, with the Federation in charge, it pretty much is, isn't it? Get out. Lots of shit from there, mate. Don't think I'm going to be able to see it. I mean, the sun's going, the sun's gone down. It doesn't look like we can see any city lights. We used to be able to see city lights. Not unless we've all left. Wow, that, that's weird, because you used to be able to see, like, cities from orbit. But you can't see any of it now. Unless it's cloudy, of course. Nope, can't see my house. Okay, let's, let's go to the moon. Moon. I mean, there's a capital ship there. We could have a quick look at that. We're going to have a quick look at the capital ship. Pretty sure I can get within... Wait, good, good. We've actually got a capital ship guarding Terra. I'm going to call it Terra from now on. It's just going to annoy everyone. So this will be a Farragut. I 
might have to actually continue the tour tomorrow because I don't think we're going to get ever all the planets in. I mean, I know we've only got nine, but, you know, nine majors. But I seriously doubt if we're going to get all of them in. We can also see if we can get a picture maybe of the sun with Earth in the background of this capital ship. There it is. Hey, baby. under power. Is it actually moving for a change? Usually these things don't move. Wow. That's fucking cool. It doesn't seem to be moving. These things are huge. I can actually get relatively close, as long as I don't land on it, I should be fine. Well, we're quite a distance away, we're over a kilometre away. Some idea of scale. You've not seen that before. Okay. It's a bit dark back here, I have to say. see the lights. Hang on. Hang on a moment. We can see the lights from the cities. Very dim though. How are you doing? You wouldn't actually think it was that far away, would you? But it bloody is. Do we want the sun in it, or do we... That's in it. Let's see if we can get to the actual vapor. So I think that's the twilight right there. So we'll stick the phantom in the dark. Okay. Guess that's it! <laughs> I mean, I've done loads of these shots where the sunlight's coming over, but that looks really beautiful. Let's stick that down there. So over the earth, it just seems nicer. Do you know what I mean? This seems weird, I know. It's over terror. Screenshot! 
I'm happy. All right, let's go to the moon. Moon. Terra looking good. Hi, Queenie. Well, apparently the sun's gone down in Merry Old Blighty. So, um, the, you know, I couldn't actually see my house, which is a bit unfortunate. But we're off to the moon. The moon. I show you how deep the rabbit hole. Hey, Topaz, thank you for that follow. Now, of course, we need to go to the right of the moon. I know it's not there, but because we want the, the light side. Hoping that they've altered the topographical stuff of this. The home of the <laughs> famous 21st century instead of Buck Rabbit, 32nd century tour guide. Indeed. Welcome to you, your wireless system. We can see that most of the people have left their home planet, the cradle of humanity, otherwise known as. Terra. Except some idiot called it Earth. <laughs> Apparently spelling isn't a thing in the 30 second strings. 30 seconds. That's true. Right, you're not actually allowed to land on the moon. Wow, that actually looks really good. And just think, it took all the Apollos bloody ages to get to the moon. That does look good. An unregistered comms beacon? No. I think I basically get told off ridiculous amounts if I even try to land. I mean, I've already got fine, so... Mm. Let's see if we can spot Optimus, Optimus Prime ship. Is that a thing on the moon? The moon. Should we sneak down there? I think. Is that on the surface? Surely not. No, it's not. I didn't think it was. Yeah, I'm actually wanted. Uh, is Lee Lee King Gao? Lee King Gao? Is that? Does that have interstellar factors? Mars. Mars was the main thing we were coming to see anyway. So let's go to Mars. The moon's looking good. I have to say. Pirates Memorial. Your moon video. I'm not sure which part of the moon this is. I'm kind of guessing that it just does a too close thing. I'm kind of guessing that's what happens. New to Make Warrior Online 
It's free to play. Is it going to do it too close? I'm coming in, damn it. I want to land. <laughs> I wish to land on the moon. I want to have a look at stuff. Uh, the Pirates Memorial. Pilots Memorial. I can say there's loads of beacons. Pirates, Pilots Memorial of Seoul. Interplanetary load, road trip, new need ship. I'm kind of getting the idea that this is just going to say nope. So let's get to Mars. I mean, Mars is going to say nope as well, but. Still quite close to the moon, so like that close. Oh, wait, you can see it out that window. Can we go now? Uh, yeah, but I got fined. <laughs> Apparently, it's it's been preserved. might belong to someone or something dun, dun, dun. Okay, good. nothing in front of me either but you seem to be going incredibly slow Imagine being able to travel up that speed. That would be mad. See, why, why does it lose the bloody lock? That's so annoying. Where's Mars again? Where's Mars? Mars. Uh, I need an interstellar factors, guys. Somewhere in the solar system. I'm kind of thinking that Mars High has one. Mars High. Why are you showing me Santi? Bernard Star apparently is the closest. <laughs> oh, God. oh my god, I'm pretty much buggered. There's none, yeah, none, none at Salt. Yeah, I just realised that, dude. I mean, Bernard Star is literally over there in that sort of red bit with the curve around it. It's not actually that close, believe it or not. Lovely. I'm glad I've got my, got my logo over the chat. Um, my logo over the, the system chat. There you go. You can't bloody see it. <laughs> right, it's going on Mars. Now, Mars has actually been terraformed, which we were discussing yesterday. Is it really worth it? Is it Demos and Phobos? Demos and Phobos? I mean, they should be here, not unless we destroyed them. Nice! 
previously, they've actually terraformed Mars. Which is pretty cool. If you look carefully, you can actually see um, like Olympus Mons and Martian topography. You gotta really look though. You gotta know what you're looking at, obviously. But that looks pretty cool, can you say? Now, whether or not we could do this one day, I have no idea. I mean, it is theoretically possible. Whether or not it would have the magnetic field to hold on to that atmosphere, it's yeah, another another story, I'm afraid. But yeah, I actually know, I actually recognise those craters. But definitely Mars. No, it's too small. So the the best it's ever, in my opinion, the best it's ever going to be is a staging post somewhere else. That's what Mars looks like in the Elite Universe. And we need the next one, which is going to be... Well, we've got the Asteroid Belt, and then we've got El Jupito. <laughs> it's probably not, not far from the truth, I'll be honest. 3,000 light seconds from Jupiter. <laughs> Without a doubt, man. Now, I think you can actually land on the Jupiter moons. So... So we've got Columbus Station, which is there, which is actually around Io. But you can actually land on Europa, which I'm going to. Because, let's face it, why not? I actually have a ship over at Galileo that's uh, DBX. I think I've got actually two ships there. I think there's a dolphin there as well. Hey, Colton. How you doing? So we're going to check out Jupiter, and then we're going to go and land on Europa. Because we all know the significance of Europa. 2010. Apparently. Of course it wasn't. Nothing happened. It was quite annoying. So we're going beyond the belt. That's the one thing I've never really understood about the expanse, the fact that they're called belters and they actually live nowhere near the belt. They just need to live beyond the belt. So why are they still called belters? Kind of a silly thing really. I suppose it's just a cool name that they can call themselves. Because obviously the inner planets such as Mars and Earth are within. <laughs> yeah, I could catch up with Voyager 1. Beyond us sounded stupid. Yeah, totally. Beyond the belt. Beyond us. I think it was perfectly reasonable. I wish I'd never gone to that ship now, though. But it doesn't matter. We're going to land on Europa. And see if we can get a nice picture of Jupiter in the process. I am surprised that Io isn't landable. Does Europa have a tenuous? Just wondering. No, of course it doesn't. But Titan does. What the shit? Why is that one red? Oh, is that? Oh, that must be, you know, banned. We got Pluto, which apparently has uh, an atmosphere. What are all these? these real? Make, make. Are these sort of like just little fucking rocks? Persephone. 
these are just little rocks that's beyond Pluto. That's mental. Kuiper Belt. Oh, really? I mean, what? Oh, they must be just big old rocks then. Well, shows how much I know. We're off in the Kuiper Belt. Okay. Oh, we'll have to go and have a look at those as well then. Are those like uh, new NASA discoveries? How long have people known about that? Probably ages. I've just been out of the loop. Nobody tells me nothing. <laughs> hey, Father Bill, welcome in. What is it? Did you come in earlier and I didn't see you? Or did I see you and actually say something and try to forget that I said something? Said it was discovered in 2003. Okay. And Jupiter does actually have rings, which is something that not many people know. Oh! Oh, there's a big test bed up there. There's a de development system there. Okay, there we we've got to see the red spot, haven't we? That's if it's in sunlight, of course. Okay, this is old Jupiter. If we can get the red spot, then I'll be happy. Or maybe the red spot's gone. Because these are just ridiculous storms, aren't they? There's a good chance that the storm would obey. Of course, if it's on the dark side, we're not going to see it at all, are we? Uh, kind of a red spot there. Kind of thinking it's on the dark side, so I might have to stop there. Oh, really? Okay, there's a uh, old cheapy. Apparently it's Jupiter. Apparently it doesn't look like it unless it's got the red spot. Although, like, um, like Deviant says, it's, it's expected to disappear soon. All right, let's head out to Europa. Let's see if we can get a shot with Jupiter in it. It might be too far away. Maybe not. Yeah, they, they did, I did did it a little bit, the cleaning people. Right, land on the right side somewhere. And we're just a comms beacon. Right, I was kind of hoping. There you are. It should work. It's pretty much behind me, so it should work. Oh, there's an impact site down there. Now there's a lot more pink on there than I was expecting. There's a uh, irregular markers grade two or three or whatever. And we'll just go touch down. I mean, good surface scanning actually. Uh, I already have surface scanned it. Other? What's other? Other? What the hell is other? What the hell is that about? So 
really what would be really helpful now would be VR. Geezers. One of three of a G, so it should be relatively easy to get on, onto an out of one. as well. It's fine. God damn it, really? <laughs> there we go. Found it! Just stop here for a little rest. Let's get out and run around on the surface of uh, Europa. Wow, it's pretty flat. We've got Jupiter up there. Where be the sun? Oh, there it is. I think that's it there. Oh, there's a ship there. It's, uh... Get up, get up, get up, get up! Oh, damn it. Okay, maybe, maybe we can use this rock. Yeah, Just let the jetpack up. Get back up. Sir? 
Don't know where zone. Oh, looking up as well. It's cool. Oh, God. Am I going to be able to get me in there as well as Jupiter? Yeah, of course you can. Oh, why is Jupiter a red shape? That's fine. I just need to get it in the middle. There's a bit of a fist eye lens happening there. They'll be like, what are you standing on? Uh, that'll be in my great phantom. That's what I'm standing on. It's pretty mad. Die, Jupiter, die! I know, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, that's not using my drift. But we've got uh, uh, Arceus Thruster. No, no, that's an Arceus Thruster. But this really sort of like brings to light how big these things are. I mean, it's, it's, it's bloody massive. It really is. That's where my, that's where my, one of my guns comes out. Uh, my, my chair is down there. Hey, that's my chair. It is, but... Honestly, um, I'm not overly bothered about that. I'd still, yeah, I'd love to be able to walk around it, but honestly, I'd rather they do, like, Atmo landings. I'd rather they spend the time doing Atmo landings. Maybe Jupiter. Jupiter. Get back on here. That's the view from Europa. Alright. Um, do we want to see the moons? Or are we just literally just going to go on there? Um, I think we will go off to Saturn. This is getting weird. Because of the orbits. Alright, let's go see Saturn. All those rotations. Ridiculous. Off we go. And Saturn's a lot more lemony than I thought it would be. I mean, if they could put in some sort of mechanic where walking around your ship would actually have a purpose then you know by all means you know I, I, you know I do I do, do deride Star Citizen a lot but I'm apparently sure there are the things ride. that you can do on foot hey Chris welcome in dude thanks for the follow how are you I'm, I'm kind of guessing you're into the elite um, yeah, so there is a mechanic in Star Citizen that you're actually fixing stuff or doing stuff. So until they introduce that into Elite, which I know is down, obviously, um, I don't really see the point of in I don't really see the point of internals. Is that stupid? That's stupid. Bloody the the rings they they fool me. I know that Jupiter has rings. They're not as good as Saturn's, obviously. <laughs> Yeah, if nothing else, just let us walk onto the fucking bridge. Yeah, that would be nice. I mean, just walking around the bridge would do, right? Walking up a tunnel, into the ship, into your bridge. You'd probably do it once, twice. It's like getting cars in scum. Like, oh, I have to get in my car? How you doing, mate? Look at me in. We're just doing a little tour of the solar system. Our solar system. So we're at Saturn so far. I didn't actually realise there was so much stuff over at the the Kuiper Belt. So that could be interesting. Let's see what we can find out there on the outer reaches of the Sol system. 
I mean, honestly, even if we just had inter-system travel, we, there's plenty to keep us busy. There's like 40 bloody bodies. It should keep us busy for a while, you know. I just wish Mars was bigger. That's all. I wish Mars was a bit bigger than what it is. Like, the same size as Venus, which is the same size as Terra. Yeah. No, I want it to be the same size as Earth. That's what I'm saying, dude. And then maybe, just maybe, it would actually be a valid planet to... Um... <laughs> It would actually be a valid planet to terraform because he could actually hang on to its fucking atmosphere. At the moment, it's just a bloody staging post. That's all it is. But it does have plenty of resources, which is nice. Oh, it's, I, I can never remember how to say that. Epitus? Up in the dark there. Yeah, I mean that would be reasonable. Just the bridge, just walk around the bridge. I mean it wouldn't be much on a diamondback, but or a courier. Okay, we're at Saturn. Many, many things in Saturn. Been here before. Oh, it's Dion. Alright, let's get it at a jaunty angle because that's the way you always see Saturn. Take a photo. I can barely see my ship because it's so dark out here. Looks so pretty. I've actually mined those rings. Because, you know, you got on you really. a gap, or whether or not it's just bloody solid. Soon to see. Nope. <laughs> it's not a gap. It's got stuff in it. Oh my god. There is actually an extraction site here. A vulture. You got um, Honda's income and a vulture and three assault ships. Oh, he's down here. I don't have any mind. Ships on fire off the shoulder of Orion. Well, sad. Let's 
Patrol sign. As you can barely see my ship. Let's just stick it out there a bit. That's a big plate. Okay, so maybe there's not a gap between those rings. Crime scene? What are you on about? I've never been here before. Next planet. We all know it. We all love it. It's Uranus. It's Six thousand light seconds from that. So it's quite a bit more. Titan. Human signal there. Tethys, Rhea, Dion. Enceladus. And you got all the Jupiter moons. Mr. Io. Europa. Ganymede. I mean Ganymede. It's right out there. Blue and uh, what? What's <laughs> what? Uranus? <laughs> yeah, I'm deliberately saying it like that. I'm giving to your childish ways. It's graceful. distance I mean you know I mean we did do a, uh, a theory on like warp factors for these things <laughs> yeah Jupiter's equatorial bulge yeah we know it's oh yeah totally all right Uranus Hey, Eldwin, welcome in. I saw you doing stuff and things. She was wielding her hammer with gusto. That's all I'm saying. I know you know. I know you know that I know. Now, here's the thing. You know, Uranus has got rings too. And it was like, what, really? Shitting me, dude. And Neptune. I think Neptune's got rings as well. But look at that gas giant. A very blue gas giant. It's got a very nice pastel blue. Let's get rid of that so we don't see my scan of it. And I'm pretty sure that this has a gap between the rings. There's no down in space. Yes, I'm off to Uranus. Yes, 12 shots. Well, 13 ish. I'm pretty sure that they do have a gap. I could be wrong though, so we might end up getting bounced out again. So let's get off to Neptune. So you got Ariel, Titania, Umbriel, Oberon, 
and uh, I'm going to do that to Sam. Easier. So we've almost done the little tour. So Triton is apparently off limits. Dun dun dun! So we're going to see what happens if I go near Triton. And I mean, Triton's another 20,000 light seconds out. It's quite a, um, Neptune's another 20,000 light seconds out. So there's quite a big distance between these. Between these these planets. And that's just in our solar system. And apparently that's where the, the ring is supposed to be out near Neptune. Which is... Why is it out so far? I mean, we could join. We could look for the uh, Voyager probe. Not sure how you find it. Hey, welcome back, Corbin. There's Alpha Centauri, which is 4.38 light years away. So, quite a bloody distance. Immersion. Yeah, totally. I mean, if you could. I mean, the immersion, definitely. And if you could maybe customise the inside a little bit, then that would be pretty cool. Make it look like a pit. <laughs> Make it look like my room when I was a teenager. <laughs> oh, no, nobody wants to see that. I mean, that would be cool if you could actually just pirate like proper... I'd like to be able to get on board somebody else's ship like from the outside in a spacewalk that would be cool and then you could do the inevitable oh my god I've lost my tether and I can't get back to my ship because I've run out of run out of jetpack well no just literally go, get on board and throw their cargo out I think the first stage of any sort of ship-to-ship -ship stuff uh, might be to dock with mega ships and run around inside. Yeah, you could sabotage their engines. That'd be cool. I mean, you could literally interdict them, disable them, board them. <laughs> Eldwin? Eldwin? <laughs> Capture pilots and sell them to the Federation? Well, <gasps> I never would have expected it. You should hear a play Mechwarrior online, it's just insatiable. <laughs> die, die, just die. Yeah, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, of course. Yeah, disable FTL, hack security, board, track your target through the ship, kill them. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty uh, involved, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's it. Die, please. Thank you. <laughs> it cracks me up. Yeah. Although, one time you did actually say, oh no, you can die now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you did. Yeah, exactly. Turning the ship into the authorities, seizing the ship. That'd be quite cool. I want to check out Triton. I'm really intrigued. I mean, do they kill you if you go near them? Reverse engineer Thargoid, I hope that... Uh, yeah. See now, Neptune is very pretty. The regular markers. That's just fucking asking for it. 
I'm already wanted. Right, we're going to take a photo of, of that and then we'll go back to Triton. That's Triton on the right now. But there are regular markers on Triton. So surely you're allowed to land, right? Surely. <laughs> and it, it would be nice to get on board and rescue people by on burning burning mega ships. Look at that, that's really pretty. I mean there is a void opal hotspot there. That's just mad. I mean the rings are almost non existent. I mean look at that ring. Well you can't really, it's, it's barely there. I mean Neptune is a really pretty planet. So we're definitely taking a photo of you. Ah, it's so pretty. Yeah, I get what you're saying, Gordon. Alright, let's go out to Triton. There are irregular markers on Triton. No, permit required. Where do I get a Triton permit? Am I going to get ridiculously in trouble for that? If I go near it? I mean, ordinarily, if these said threat 2 or 3, then I would go there. I want to check out these ones. Is that the next one in the line? I want to check out these Kuiper Belt jobbies. Because these you can land on. And there's Pluto. Let's do Pluto first. Yeah, I mean... Mm. So I'm in two minds about that. You know, the whole transitioning. And then you got Pluto. Which is another 13,000 light seconds out. So there's quite a difference in the distance. Yeah, the black... I mean, it's essentially a loading screen, isn't it? So... Loading between one and the other. So I'm not sure how they would get around that. I mean, they'd have to preload. I see what you're saying. It would be nice to have a smoother transition between the two. <laughs> yeah, you actually get up in the ship, go and make a coffee. That would be mental. I don't think it is. I mean, you can kind of do that in Star Citizen, I think. I don't know. I haven't played Star Citizen enough to really worry about stuff like that. And Pluto is a rocky body. 13,000 light seconds out. I got a Triton permit. I don't want to land there. I don't think that would be cool. But you can land on all of these Kuiper Belt stuff. <laughs> Until you brainwashed me into thinking the same thing. I'm not denying that it would be cool. I'm not sure how often I will do it though. I need to put more chat on my screen for people. So when I when I upload this to YouTube, they can actually see what people are saying. So, oh crap! Really? No, no. No slowing down. Do a dip. That should stop it. I mean, how much light is there going to be coming out here? <laughs> I 
<laughs> no, it's not a loop. It's a dip. Yeah, I suppose it would become more meaningful. Is Pluto's orbit slightly off? It seems to be a lot lower than everyone else's. Now, we've all seen pictures of Pluto. I thought so, because it just seems, if you look at the planets in the orange display, you see it's actually quite, it's a lot lower than everybody else's. So I'm assuming it would be an inclined orbit. God, I sound such a nerd. <laughs> right, we all know, we've actually seen pictures of Pluto. Is that Carol? Look at that, in regular markers and crush ship. I wonder if I can go near that one. So I'm just wondering if they've superimposed it or not. Is it sort of uh, mottled white and red? It doesn't look like it, honestly. Could be wrong. Delphi control chapter. dark but then again the sun is quite far away now angle of inclination <laughs> oh maybe they have oh they have wow my upside no my upside didn't Still moving though. Alright, let's go and check out. It is Charon. Ooh, we could go and land on Charon, that'd be mad. I don't think we can land on. Uh, I don't think we can land on Pluto. No, we can't land on Pluto. We can land on Charon though. This is just going to be cargo. Where is the sun? Damn it. Oh, should we just ram it? Whoops. I want to see where Sol was. Sol is the other side. Okay. Where's this crash? Oh, it's salvage, apparently. Yeah, he's on the other side. Okay, cool. Let's go. Oh, is still calling down. Other way, shit, me, dude. Where the hell is it? It's directly in front of me. What the hell? Let's get up. We're on the other side. Caron's a ridiculously small place, anyway. Actually, be on the light side if there is such a thing. Okay, 50 degrees, so we're still up. Okay. I'm just 
wondering if this has got a perm out around it. Depends what it is. If it's something like an anaconda, then I don't... Yeah, I'm going to get another fine. I mean, I can go nip over to Barnard Star. I mean, who's going to come and slap my wrist? Seriously. It's only the Federation, anyway. I cannot deal with my virulence. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying you, Gothen. You lie. It's very true. Oh my god, it is a ponder. Okay, I'm probably going to get fine then. Are they going to find me? Let's just power through. No, I'm not getting any... I'm not getting anybody saying I can't. God damn it! But you don't have Odyssey. You're never. You're not coming. You're not coming to say hello. This is probably an SRV job. I'll be honest. But we're gonna go out and see. find any panels or something. Uh, I hope so. Oh, I should have stuck the lights on. This is, this is rocky. Hmm? Yeah, I should have put my lights on. Just saying. Nice. Oh no, there is. Found it. Okay, mate. See you later. Yeah, I was like this as a kid. Yeah, I just used to like climbing on stuff. I mean, obviously there's nothing we can cut off it. There might actually be some cargo that we can get in the SRV, but it's very, very lucky. Okay, we're right up on the end, right up on the edge. It's a bit bloody dark. Oh, is that Pluto over there? I think that might be, because of that, that curve. Oh no, it's this one. Uh, I don't actually remember sticking down like that. God, that's dark. Go 
God, you can't even see me. Oh my God. I'm trying to get my shadow in there. That sort of area. Maybe. Probably there. Can't really tell what it is, can you? Why am I crouched? I didn't actually crouch. I'm pretty sure I didn't crouch. Some stuff down there. Just uh, rest my velocity. Yeah, you can't actually interact with those at all. Now there's the anaconda for you. Well, you can probably pick up some stuff in the SRV, but this ground is ridiculously rocky. If you want a recipe for hurling, then this is probably the one. Probably don't need the shield, honestly. They're like little noises, which is amazing considering it's a vacuum. We don't worry about stuff like that. Not in this game. Right, let's go and check out the next one. I've not seen any of these ones. Is there actually a base out here? Orcus. It looks like there might be a base out here, so that should be interesting. Um, yeah, security tourism complex, low security. Should we go there? That'd be interesting. It's kind of interesting because it's in our system, you know? I mean, out this far, it's going to be dark, dark, dark. I'm just um, intrigued. Oh no, shit, I'm wanted, aren't I? I can't go there. That's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, but I got got the little red icon. No, we might have to nip over to Barn and Star. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. I wanted that one. Right, that's serious. It's actually really close. Was it Barn and Star? get rid of that. Oh, but then I'm going to jump back where I... Uh, I'll jump back at Sol, won't I? The Star Sol, as opposed to the other one, so... Uh, yeah, and then we'll have to travel all the way out here. So, let's see... We're not actually wanted in van. So maybe we can go over there. Persephone out here as well. Which one's Vamp? Vamp. I'm not actually wanted a Vamp. Why am I not wanted a Vamp? Is there a base on it? 
Oh god, look at that. That's a potato. Oh wow, that's a potato. Let's go there. It's nice, right? Wallachin, Wallachinia, Wallachinia's gate. Wow, that's another eleven thousand light seconds out. There's a lot of distance out here. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the home system. This is where we live. It's mental. God, I'm such a nerd. You haven't been to Seoul yet? Oh my God. There's loads of really nice places to go and have a look. I mean, I've mined in Saturn's rings. I've also mined in Jupiter's rings. I mean, Earth is just, well, Terra. I keep saying it. You know, it's ingrained. Terra is beautiful. And it really makes you appreciate where we live. I know it sounds mental, but it really does appreciate the wonder of where we live because it's real as opposed to all the other earth lights you come across and you're like yeah but it's not real is it you know it's not as real as terror or earth as the people's people's call it of course I suppose it depends on whether or not you're Greek or Latin let's go and check out Wallachina's game Wallachnia that's probably saying that wrong. I mean, it really, what really brings it into focus is Colo. You know, hello, it's Colo. Hello, it's Colo. Went to see Earth, and she burst into tears. So, you know, obviously I don't, because I've been here already. I did the first one, though. Just loved my heart out. I really did, you know. Of course. But, um, yeah, she just looked at it and went, Oh my god, that's so fucking beautiful. She doesn't swear. I'm not sure when the last time she actually played the lead, but... That's what she started on. Right, let's go and land on this potato. I mean, you've got a Corvette, so you've definitely got the permit. Actually, it looks like the Sun is on that side. So no other place. It's gonna be in the dark. But imagine being posted out here. How shit would that be? <laughs> It'd be like, oh my god, really? Oh my god, you could actually drive around this. You could SRV this easily. What? It what? What? It's got no gravity? Oh, it's tidally locked, so it doesn't spin. Wow, magnetic boots all round, everyone. Yeah, you need, you need to go and visit Earth. And if you catch it at the right time of day, you know, you can literally say, I can see my house from here. I've done that a couple of times. I've actually managed to catch it like midday, UK. Hey, when you're ready. I mean, it's not going anywhere. This is a real... I mean, this has zero G, so it's just a rock. Are you going to let me land? I was not expecting that. Apparently they're, they're quite happy for me to be here. Oh, 
Oh, right, okay. Yeah, I mean, Horizons, it's very pretty. It's very pretty in whichever one you come in. But it does... The, the atmosphere seemed a bit more defined in Odyssey. You know, it was literally a thin blue line, which is kind of cool. I'm going to use one of my screenshots. I'm going to put this on YouTube, I think. Soul Nationalists. Oh, it's Zachary Hudson. That's why. No contacts? No. No contacts. Wow, hydrogen. But they'd be quite happy to get freaking everything but give you a shit price for it. So, not a good place for trading. Are there any missions out here? No. Oh, there are, oh my god, there is. There are missions. Colonia? <laughs> For 772,000? Yeah, that ain't happening. <laughs> pirates. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's like... <laughs> yeah, right, pal. That ain't gonna happen anytime soon. 20, 22,000 light, light years? For that amount of money? Oh wow, what? 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 Who's shooting at me? Are you shooting at me? Who the hell is shooting at me? Oh, fucking hell. Better get off then. But you said I could land. Someone's shooting at me, damn it. Are they still shooting at me? Who are you? Who the hell's shooting at me? That's not good. Oh. Scavies? Are you scavengers? I might have to kill them. Maybe. Could be. But the thing is, I don't have it on this one. Yeah, but I don't have the red mark on this one. I mean, they didn't scan me, so... Seems a bit nasty, honestly. It's like, invite me to land just so they can shoot at me. You know what that sort of, You know what that says, doesn't it? You know what I've got to do now? Although I don't have missiles on this thing. It's a trap! Right, let's see if they are. I'll take the risk. This is going to be difficult. Because I don't have missiles on this one. Die, motherfucker! Shit, that's not good. See you later. That's right. No, my ship wouldn't survive. This is this is not a ship designed for combat in any way, shape, or form. It's very weak. Uh, okay then. Apparently, I can't land anywhere. <laughs> when in doubt, but, and I'll tell you what. People do a shit ton of damage to the to us, to ships. Right, I'm gonna head out to Persephone. 
Let me check that place out. No, I'm not. <laughs> it's another 469,000 light seconds out. Oh my god. That is ridiculous. Yeah, this ship is not designed for combat. I think it's actually just transporting these weapons. It's not even... It's just holding these weapons. They're not actually meant to be used. I don't think that's a good idea, do you? Persephone? Let's go to Barnard Star, because we've got to clear this fine anyway. Nah, not now. Definitely not. We're going to go over to Barnard Star and clear this uh, clear this final. Uh, Boston Base? What's that one? I've got to go there. I've never actually been there. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to Boston Base. And people who know me know why. Honestly, before we set up the Terra Hawks, I was going to make this my home. I was going to make this place my home. I'm going to decor. There's so many bloody fleet carriers here. I mean, what the shit? Why are there so many fleet carriers here? Okay, we need to fill those out. Can it? Ah, oh, yeah, I suppose. Good point. Good point, Padre. I thought they were just coming over to see me, you know? Birmingham world. Move to Birmingham. We want to go to Birmingham. It's all good. Yeah, I've got to get a picture in front of this place. I will go in and clear this fine. I mean, it might well have been the fine, but I don't know. Maybe I've got a bounty on me, but it doesn't say bounty, it just says hostile. Red and black, my favourite. Fine. 
could video that. Get over that zone. Coming home, he's coming home. That worked well. Right, I can make that some sort of uh, be right back screen. That'd be quite cool. Quest. Oh, it's hot and orbital. Oh my god. Because people who, who know my name will know why I did that. Because my surname is Boston. Maybe I should have done it from that perspective. That would be cool. Let's clear off this name. Clear, clear off this fine. I hope. That was weird. Nobody told me I couldn't go there. I'm doing well. Um, just want to check out my. I just want to check these out. I might just put some rockets on it. Well, missiles, dumb fire missiles, just so I can take out people like that. Shooting my ship! How dare they! It's a long range gimbal. That's it. Long range. Long range. So they're both long range. And the multi cannons are both efficient. Hmm. The thing is, I have to put two of them on. I'd have to have, like, two dumb fire missile racks. See how much they are. And see if they've got any. Hell yeah! Oh, seekers. Oh, they've only got seekers here. Oh, that sucks. Apparently, I can't get them here. Alright, I'm gonna have to get them at sound sooner. I do actually have some. Or I could just switch ships, it's fine. Yay! Coming home! She's coming home. She's coming home. Elgwin's coming home. All right, let's go. Fifty-three jumps. Wow. How far out are you, Elgwin? Uh, do I want to go back to Space Hawk? God damn it! Oh, uh, are you in your carrier, or you're in a ship?
You're in your ship, aren't you? You're not in... Why don't you just call the carrier? <laughs> you could just call your carrier, you know? <laughs> it's like, ah, fuck it, come and get me. True, and you'd lose all of the, uh, you'd lose all of the. Well, apparently that's not a thing. Is it a hyphen? Is that one a hyphen? Oh, no, not an equal sign. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh yeah, you're not that far up. Yeah, you're not that far up. You're fine. Be back in no time. I've done that in a... Chess 281. Thank you for joining me on my tour of the solar system, of the soul system. We're going to go home now and uh, look at our photos. And I'll probably put this on YouTube. So if you are watching on YouTube, uh, I stream on Twitch under the name Buckrabbit. All one word. I just call that fast travel over, you know, dying, getting transported to the nearest hub, the nearest port. It's just fast travel. Unless you got exploration data on board, of course. It's never a good thing. Exactly. Got to get your name on those on those bodies, haven't you? Like an indelible tattoo. I suppose just to find out whether or not you want a tattoo in a position, but. I don't judge him. Okay, we'll head him back to tech. Oh, let's find someone to raid. Who's about? Um, oh, Flint's still on. So we can send you guys over to Flint. He's a very good... Oh, Empress is on as well. I've not seen her online for a bit. But we'll send you over to Flint. Because he'll probably send you over to Empress because he's been streaming. Empress does, does CQC though. Oh, really? Like I say, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me on the journey to Seoul. Hopefully, you enjoyed looking at all the bodies. Mouth, mouth. Um, I'm going to Ray Flintlock Engineering now. He's a very knowledgeable elite commander. Hey! hey <laughs> you no, what? You so <laughs> well dog, pick up the piss. I will. Long. I'll judge them very much. Um, <laughs> in the meantime, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the bits. Oh yeah, Miss Planet 9. I didn't want to go there and absolutely die. I need it, and it's 450,000 light seconds. I'm not going there in a stream. 
What do you think I am, bad? But anyway, yeah. Thank you for the thank you for the follows, thank you for the bids, thank you for the subs and resubs, and I'll be back again tomorrow at 8 p.m. UTC for maybe Mech Warrior 5. I'll see what I'm see what I've got on the cards. But anyway, I'll catch you tomorrow. In the meantime, just remember to keep calm and carry on gaming. Adios. It worked. I got keep calm, carry on gaming. It actually works. Okay, we're raiding. Yes, indeed. You need to fly loot. Good night, eh? If you got carrots, throw them. Oh, look, we're going.